If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be going over my Madden 21 wish list. Now, I know some people have already made this video. I wasn't going to make this video, but you know, we haven't had much content. I feel like today's a perfect day. Nothing else much to talk about. So, why not give you guys my wish list instead of throwing it on a day where we may have some content? Now, guys, as far as Madden 21 goes, Remember, despite what you guys think of Madden overall, I'm a Madden guy. Always will be my main game for the most part. I love other games, mainly 2K, but this is probably my main. This is my main game. This is my YouTube game. This is a game that I, you know, for a, a, pretty much on a daily basis, always have to, always log on to no matter what, despite anything I think about it at the time. So, a lot of things that I hope changes in Madden 21. Now, before we get into the video and I go over all the things I hope that we can talk about here. Guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below anything you guys want from Madden 21 specifically. Now guys, let's get into some of my first points on this list that I have written up here. So I'll start with, let's start with the basics. When it comes to what most people like to do, let's just say for competitiveness, because that's the other thing about Mutt. Mutt's always been a team building mode, and I love team building, I love team building. But then it gets to the point where I want to play with them. And then sometimes it's like, it's sometimes there's literally people who play MUD just to spend money and make a team but don't want to use it because there's nothing much to use it on. Weekend League needs to be revamped. Guys, I love Weekend League. At least I did. Now, here's the thing. Many specific things here. So, first off, Weekend League needs a better format. Now, what I mean by that is it's very, it's very repetitive. It's 25 games, win as many as you can, get a reward, rinse, repeat. Shouldn't be like that. There needs to be some better format to it. What I think would be cool would be stat tracking. I think stat tracking would be cool. Tracking what players do what. Like I really think that'd be super cool. Like the reason franchise mode is so fun when you play with friends is because there's stats, there's competitiveness. I think it'd be cool if they if they track stats. Like even if, I mean, it doesn't have to be against everyone else. But for starters, on on a low level, I think it'd be cool if it was like okay, so you're Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback. He played your first 11 games. He didn't. He had a lot of interceptions to completions. He didn't play so well. Okay, so next we can league around. Okay, so let's you can really a analyze what went wrong, or you can check like okay, so I had this Patrick Peterson gave up this many touchdowns, didn't do this much. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna change up my cornerback next week. Maybe he was the problem. My defense. I think it'd be cool if they just tracked your 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 weekend league stats, and at the end of the weekend league, either a they could do a, they could keep a cumulative page, which would be cool for the whole entire year. Who was your best players? That'd be cool. Or they can do just for this week, and then once the weekend league's over, it refreshes and starts fresh. That, that's fair game too. And what I also think would be cool is they gave out weekend league awards to your own team. So like at the end of the weekend league, it's like your weekend league MVP, running back Saquon Barkley, your least valuable player, cornerback Patrick Peterson did horrible, your best wide receiver, and it was just, but it's just for you. Now on a more competitive scale, it would be cool is if they track stats against the community. Now the only issue with that is that people might actually care more about stats than winning, but it could really change the dynamic a little bit. Now that's just one thing I had. Now second is a better rewards format. So guys, things like 2K have been pretty good at this. They give away specific cards only for winning specific things. So now, I guess the issue with this is that obviously only the best players have certain cards, but that's always made things competitive. So it should be like for Weekend League. This week, if you get at least, if you get 20 wins plus or 18 wins plus, well, you'll be getting a legend, whoever, Brian Dawkins this week. Now, it doesn't have to be limited. See, 2K does limited cards you can only get through there. What I think would be cool is if you got cards not though because you don't want to kill the market as well so let's say brian dawkins goes for he just came out he goes to 300k on the block if you get over 20 wins you get a nap brian dawkins for your team that's perfect that'll give me incentive to play now again same thing goes for seasons mode i think it should be it should go both ways there there should be incentivized reasons to play such as rewards like that i think that'd be so cool if it was like seasons win the super bowl they do this sometimes or like even if it was win the super bowl get a legend bundle oh i'd be playing seasons all day all day or just win the Super Bowl or get 20 wins in the Weekend League and you get a Nat Brian Dawkins base legend card. Now remember this, I'm talking about the beginning of the year when base legend Brian Dawkins is absolutely amazing. Now moving on from the whole Weekend League aspect, because obviously I said enough there, but I think that specific awards are needed or and it, guys, at bare minimum, at bare minimum, just better rewards. I really don't think that these should be the, let's say, let's say monthly rewards. Like the only way, okay, let's say you just, you did good, you did good for the month. You did really good for the month. You get ultimate, you got a 93 plus pack. I mean, you really have to be top 100. Like, yeah, and this is monthly, by the way. Remember, monthly rewards are the best rewards. I would love to show you guys the regular rewards. Okay, right here. So, oh, Legend, it's not going to tell me the rewards. All I know is, guys, it's not enough. If you take the packs, they suck. If you take the coins, it's cool, but it, like, you did all that for just that amount of coins. I think it needs to be red rewards. I'm moving on. 
I think there should be a road to the playoffs mode. For any of you guys that have ever played 2K, road to the playoffs is one of the most fun features they ever had. Don't know why they got rid of it. Now, road to the playoffs would be like, it'd be the seasons mode. Like, it could be seasons, which is just like your, non, your least competitive, but fun mode to really practice with your team. Weekend leagues, you're online, competitive, you know, who can win the most out of 25, you know, king of the hill type thing. And our road to the playoffs would be like seasons, but way more competitive. So it's going to be like, it'll be like seasons, it'll be like, it'll be a screen. And the way you wrote the playoffs used to work, it'd be like, okay, so you're in Division 8, right? And that's how it starts. Your Division 8, FIFA, you're something very similar to, which is EA too, which is very funny. So your Division 8, now, in Division 8, to move on to the next division, all you got to do is get three wins out of seven. Division 7, you need four wins out of seven, or let's say. And now let's say we're all now you get down to Division 3. Now, at this point, these are when the cool rewards start coming. So if you, if you conquer Division 3... You get a nat limited time card that you can only get through division three so in old 2k's it used to be like patrick ewing larry bird michael jordan like players that you can only get through playing that road to the playoff sequence so literally to conquer and get the best team ever you had to beat those things so it was super cool i think that'd be cool if they did like a nat limited time let's say nat ltd saquon barkley that is a limited time card very overpowered you can only get it through there and you can't be put into the power up set that other people can't get unless they get to that point but it'll be like a separate power up that i think that'd be cool quick little thing there Next, guys, more consistent house rules. Personally, house rules sucked this year. House rules last year when they first introduced it seemed like it was the second coming of like the next great mode. Like it first came out, Nat 99 Gronkowski, Nat um, Theme Diamonds, Nat Ultimate Legends. Every single Tuesday we were hype. Every Tuesday, whatever, we we're like, oh my god, well, it's, it's house rules day. We were hyper. It was Wednesday. I don't really remember, but we were always super hyped for house rules. It was supposed to be the next the next game mode. Like we were all we could talk about for next year was oh, I can't wait every Tuesday. New Madden comes out. We got our first house rules. We get a free base elite. I get a Jalen Rams. I'm like, oh, this is super cool. Can't wait again. Get another one. Oh, we get another play. I'm like, wow. You know, free legend or whatever. I'm like, this is going to be great. This is going to be good. I really have to have house rules. Mind you guys, these are Nat cards. Why do they care to give us Nat cards weekly? You can't sell them. They won't ever, in fact, impact the game. It'll only impact people who play the game. And that's who should be rewarded. Guys, if, I promise you, if there was house rules still right now, there'd be a lot more people on this game than there are. Because last year, late in the game, house rules was the driving force of Madden for the end of the year. So I think they really need to make it more consistent. It should be a weekly thing. Or at bare minimum, every other weekly thing. Every other week. And then when promos are around, it could be a weekly thing. Like when it's when it's dead time. Or vice versa, actually. When promos are around, it should be like a two-week thing like they did. Like two weeks, Oktoberfest. It's a two-week long house rules. Then a break. And then when promos are, when there's no promos, like that two-week stretch where we have nothing, you give us two straight weeks of house rules. That is more than enough to keep us going, keep us on the game. It's just my personal opinion there. Okay, this one's not so much Madden related, but it is going to be next gen related. I do want quicker menu switching. I don't know if you guys see the latency and the little lag within the menus. Now, this is my biggest issue here. My biggest issue is going to be this. I believe people would sell their binders and would be a lot more on the auction block if it was. Look at this thing. To get into that, now you got to go down. Kind of go slow. Now you got to check his price. Kind of go slow. 44K. Kind of go slow. There you go. Click on him. Auction. 40K. You know, and I, I understand in the beginning of the year, when you don't have a lot of stuff, it really doesn't matter because this is like the most simple thing to do. But guys, if you saw my binder and the level of things that like is there, it's really just not possible for me to go through everything and sell everything ever. I guess guys, that's not something I'm gonna be able to do. Now guys, the thing is I understand that's a patience thing. And I understand that has nothing to do with Madden 21. But Remember, we are getting next-gen consoles at the end of this year, which means that Madden will be next-gen, or if you want to not call it next-gen, I don't want to call it, but new Xbox. Mind you, I have the, I have the good Xbox on the Xbox One X, and I still have that little delay there. Hopefully, the next-gen is, like, seamless. Like, it just goes through. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll make a lot of integration a lot easier. And now, guys, a lot, my last few things here, I think we need better objective lists and alternate objective-based goals. So, my point here is that, yeah, we have objective lists, but they've been stupid this year. Like, earn 99 overall on that. Oh, how'd I do that? Oh, it's solos. Oh, so this objective isn't really an objective. It's just telling me to go play the solo challenges. So like all the cool objectives this year for the most part have just been telling you to go play the solos where you actually get like, instead, like when we first, based on how objectives used to be, objectives had their own reward and solos had their own reward. No, now it's, they're tied together. So pretty much if you see, if you see someone here, it's not do it here. It's go to the solos and do it. And these are just reminding you. I don't like that. The only cool thing they kind of did would have to be like, I guess like a team, like, and then team captains, like again, same thing, play the solos. The only cool thing they did were like the weekly free packs where I got oh, like month dedication stuff. That was the only separate thing you could really get here. But that was about it. This is about the only thing that was decently cool that you can get here. Now, in my opinion, what they should do for next year is going to be alternate goals. So let's say they'll call this like, this goal will be like the, the, the August, August venture. That's it. 
It'll be within this month of August. Win at least 25 weekend league games. Win at least 25 seasons games. Um, throw for at least 20,000 yards. Uh, rush for at least 10K yards. Score a, maximum, a minimum of 100 touchdowns. And um, play at least 100 solos. Pretty much big, but you can get it done. Let's say you do all those things. It's called like the, the you know the August venture. You finish that up. At the end of the month, you get a legend bundle. How nice would that be? People got bundles, like because that's the thing that no money spent players don't get to enjoy. Now I'm not gonna rant on the reward aspect of it, but I do think there should be things like massive goals that you can like complete. Because guys, Madden's fun, but when you play enough Madden, you're like, ugh. Like any sports game, when you play too much of it in a day, you're like, okay, all right, I'm bored. Now don't get me wrong. The best thing about sports games is you come back the next day and it's, it's like a baby again. It's brand new. But the issue is that in that same day. If you had a goal, you'd be waking up excited every morning. Like, okay, I gotta go. I have to do this many touchdowns today. I, and you, and the thing about those goals, you don't have to think. You just gotta play online. Just have fun. And while having fun, you're simultaneously completing something. Again, my opinion, but I think that's good. And then I think we need more solos that aren't promo or always related. Like, we shouldn't only have solos if there's a freaking promo in the game. Like, oh, like literally Madden comes out in August. We get like one initial thing. We get the elite drop. We don't get a promo for that. We don't get like solos or promos for like three weeks when Madden drops no joke like two to three weeks i don't i like or was we get wait we got we got much superstars and then we had like a two week delay until the season started madden just dropped we should be getting at least stuff like let's say um we get madden's drop then they should drop like you know the beginning solos or like the first month solos or the um the kickoff before you know we have kickoff promo but like everything we get is so tied around what we do they should be just like random solos like uh something fun like the adventures of Saquon or like the adventures of Zeke. And it's just like a, a cool solo sequence. You have to play with that running back for five solo for five solo straight. You play with him and you get you, you get a pack. There should be just be something fun that's like not always related to a promo, just random things that they can be creative and just think about. I think we need more creativity involved with the with the mode in that aspect because I shouldn't have to wait for a, like we shouldn't have Madden Limbo. Every single time it's not a promo, we shouldn't just be dead. Like that's it. Nothing to do. That shouldn't be a thing in my opinion. I think that should and it could be stupid things like Back in Madden 13, that's something cool. Every single week, there was a, a they would drop a sequence of solos legend based. You have to play all star legend based teams, five of them in a row. Once you once you won all five, you got a legend pack, a legend fantasy pack. That's awesome. They were full games, mind you. They were a lot harder back then. But instead, do ten games. Do ten base uh, objective based games that aren't full games, they're like quarter games. Do ten of them. Everyone will play them, and you get one legend pack a week. It will make people excited because people that don't buy spend money on the game never get that pack excitement. You can give it to some no money spend players, get them playing a little bit longer. Trust me. But that's just my opinion again on that. And then I just think we need some more modes within within Ultimate Team, like more modes. Like we have Housers ready, we have Weekend League. That's why I said like Road to the Playoffs. We need stuff like that. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. It is kind of long, but hope you guys did enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bub boys. Come join the family, and please, please, please comment down below your Matt Mutt, Mutt 21 wish list, as well as regular stuff like franchise, anything else you guys play. I love franchise, so if you guys got some things for that, say it down below. If you guys, better for the video. Hope you did enjoy. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.